going to make a uh, llama ornament today. Um, this is actually a really fun and quick project. This would be a good project to do with um, kids. Um, good project for over the holiday season. So um, I've already cut my pieces out, but you can get the pattern in the description. Uh, I have two of my llama, and then I have um, two pieces for my blanket that's going to go over um, the llama like this, make them a little more festive. And then you'll need two um, doll eyes. These ones are super teeny tiny ones. Um, and then you'll need a little bit of fiber fill. You don't need a lot. In fact, I won't even use all of this. So you'll just need a little bit of each of these things. Um, <coughs> the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sew. Um, we're going to sew our blanket. And if you want, you can do a fun like decorative stitch on your sewing machine if it has decorative stitches to kind of go around your blanket. But we're going to sew those two pieces together. Now one tip that I have is I really like to use some type of basting adhesive. So this is Spray and Bond that um, you can buy at the store. You can also get like a Craft Bond. This is an Elmer's glue. That works as well because you're just putting it on felt. Um, there's also, um, Silky also has um, a, a basting adhesive. So any of those will work. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your adhesive and you're just going to use a scratch, scrap piece of paper and on the smaller um, quilt piece you're just going to spray a little bit of basting spray. You don't need a lot, um, just enough that it'll stick and then you're just going to stick it right in the center of your blanket just like that. And that will just help keep it in place. You could use a pin, but I find on these really small felt pieces, it's not as easy to um, keep the pieces in place when you're sewing. And that basting adhesive really helps. So I'm actually just going to put my um, sewing machine just on kind of a zigzag. And I'm just going to start in one corner and zigzag around my blanket here. It's going to give it a little bit of a decorative stitch to it, make it a little bit more interesting, but not anything like crazy. Now I'll just trim my threads here. Alright, so there's my little blanket. <coughs> We're going to hand stitch around our llama. So I've got my embroidery floss here. This is um, the silky 12 weight cotton embroidery floss. You can use you know, whatever embroidery floss you have. I would stay clear of using regular sewing um, thread because it's just too thin and it's going to knot too much as you're going, at least in my experience that's how it goes. So I've threaded it and I put a knot at the end. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to leave an opening up here at the top where my blanket's going to go. So I am just going to start by going through a single layer so that my knot is on the inside and then I'm just going to do one like whip stitch right here to start it out. Now we're going to do a blanket stitch around the rest of it. So what I do is I'm going to come down through both layers and then I have this loop here and I want my needle to come through the loop. So you can see right there how it came through the loop and then I just pull a little bit. And then you can kind of see, it'll get better as we go, but the um, thread or floss is going to come along the edge of the llama all the way around. And it's just a nice um, kind of finish. Now can you sew it on your sewing machine? For sure. Yes, and have I done that before? Yes, because that, sometimes it's nice to just be a little bit lazy. But if you um, are making these like for a gift or you just like to have something to do during the holiday season, having a blanket stitch all the way around makes it look really nice. And you can kind of see right there how it's kind of going all the way around. Um, it's just a fun finish 
And if you wanted to, um, you know, typically I would say pick a matching thread. For this particular project, I'm just going with a darker brown um, because I kind of want to see those stitches a little bit. That's just my personal preference. Um, but that doesn't have to be yours. You could also like pick a color, like if your blanket is like mine is green and red, maybe you have a fun like variegated um, embroidery floss that has two colors or something. Um, and you could definitely do that. I mean, it's your project, so you can choose whatever you want to do. So I'm just going all the way around on this cute llama. And you just need one layer of embroidery floss. You don't need it to be double thick. <coughs> Excuse me. And as you go, you're going to pull that... Um, thread but don't pull it too tight because you can kind of see up here how it kind of bunches a little bit. You don't want to pull too tight. You want it to be a little bit loose but enough that it's going to stay together and your fiber fill is not going to fall out. And if you get to the point where you have to re-thread, like if you run out of thread, you'll just tie it off in a knot and then start the same way we did over here and just continue to go around. Um, I personally almost always run out of thread um, because I don't really like to have a really long piece of um, thread when I'm hand sewing. It can get so many knots in it, at least that's my experience. So I try and like have a reasonable amount, but if I run out then I run out and I re-knot and start again. And you see how that guy got looped around his neck. So you gotta pay attention to what you're doing so you don't end up having all these weird knots all over the place. And I'm just eyeballing like how far apart my stitches are. Um, if you're more concerned with that, you know, you definitely can um, measure it or you can mark if you wanted to mark like on your actual pattern or on your actual felt, like with a um, water soluble pen or something so that everything was really even. You could totally do that too. I mean, it's really up to you how you do your stitches. All right, I'm gonna keep doing this and then we'll come back together here when we get back up to the top. Our llama is sewn all the way around except for we've left our little opening here and I've left my string on here my thread because I'm going to close this off once I'm done so I'm just going to take a little bit of fiber fill here and like I said you do not need a lot I'm going to open my llama and push my fiber fill in and I'm going to take um, the end of something pointy and kind of scoop my fiber fill up in there. And sometimes like if I'm um, trying to get fiber fill into like a tight space like you know head here like with this llama um, an eraser works really nice or sometimes I'll actually stitch up this to here, I'll stitch up just part of it and put the fiber fill in first and then continue stitching. So you, that's definitely an option as well um, because sometimes it's just a little bit easier. But you really don't need very much of this just to give this a little bit of dimension. Because you're not, it's not like a stuffed animal. It's not gonna, you know, get played with and lose a lot of filling. It's just enough so that it kind of has a poof to it, just like this. So it's a poofy head, poofy ear, poofy legs. So my fiber fill is in. Now I'm just going to close them up. Same way I've been doing, just with a blanket stitch. Just finish my blanket stitch. Alright, now that our llama is all sewn up, so cute, 
right? Cutest little llama. We're gonna put on our character eyes. And you can see here how tiny these character eyes are. Um, I think the, they're like stuffed animal eyes. You can buy them on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. I can't remember exactly um, how they are after, advertised. But I think you, if you go with stuffed animal eyes on Amazon, you'll be able to find them. These are two millimeters, so they're super tiny. Um, but our llama is tiny. So you're gonna want something that has a pointy end. And on this project, I am actually just going to poke all the way through both sides um, because I'm putting uh, eyeballs on both sides. And these are super tiny. So to keep them in place, I'm actually gonna use my basting spray. Um, we'll move them up here so you can see a little bit better. And I'm going to uh, put a little bit of basting spray on my eyeballs. And that's kind of a weird thing to do, um, but I have found it's the best way. And when I put them in, I'm actually gonna put them in at an angle. And the spray actually just helps keep them in place. And the angle also is a great way to keep them from um, falling out. And again, if this was a stuffed animal, then you know I would do something a little bit different. But since this is just a little ornament, those eyes aren't going to be played with. They're not going to come out. Um, so they should be just fine, just like that. So it just adds a little bit of something. Now, if you don't want to buy eyes, you could definitely tack an eyeball on with your sewing machine. Just do like a really small zigzag. Um, just to get like the same thing. You could um, find a tiny button. Um, if you wanted to use like a marker, you know, a permanent marker and put a dot, you could definitely do that as well. You know, you have options. All right, now we're gonna put our blanket on. And our blanket is just gonna go over our llama like this, right? It just makes it a little bit festive. So again, I'm gonna use my basting spray so that I can get my um, blanket onto my llama without issue. Just, and then it'll stay on by itself. Now, will it stay on like that forever? No, but it will help in the process while we're stitching it on. Now, for this one, um, you have some choices. I'm just going to actually tack my corners all four of my corners and that's it. Um, you could do what we did here and do a blanket stitch all the way around the blanket. Again, it's totally up to you what you choose to do. But like I said, I'm just gonna do um, a little tack on the ends of my blanket here. So I'm gonna come up through the bottom of the blanket and then I'm gonna go forward and do a back stitch here and then do the same thing here and do a back stitch. Oop, I got them around my legs here. So I just kind of have a little tack, if you will, for my blanket. Nothing amazing, just super simple, but it keeps my blanket um, from falling off. I'm just going to tie it off, clip my thread, there, my blanket's done. Um, you could get a little bit more intricate and do like a cute little, you know, southwestern design of some sort, I don't know, come up with something. <laughs> you guys are clever. Um, but it's totally up to you what you do. Like I said, you could go all the way around the blanket and do a fun stitch just to make it a little bit more interesting for your llama. But again, that's totally up to you. Okay, now I'm actually gonna go through this side and come out on my other side so I don't have to cut my thread. I know, clever, right? But it also will help my blanket stay. Oops. If you don't pull your thread out like me. <laughs> there. And this 
way. Gonna on this side over here. I think it would be really cute to um, like to get some vinyl, like um, some heat transfer vinyl and put like a cute little um, quote or snowflakes or something actually on the ornament. I mean, yes, you could definitely hand stitch something like that as well, but I think that would be absolutely adorable. Okay, just tying off my llama here. Okay, and there are, there's my blanket. All right, then the last thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, put some, put a, a loop on it so you can actually hang up your llama. Because what good is a llama if it can't hang up on your Christmas tree? So, All right, the last thing that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put a loop on the llama so that it will hang up on our Christmas tree. So I'm just actually gonna go through the bottom of the neck here with another piece of embroidery floss. And this is the, I found the best place really to hang the llama. Um, if you do it at the head, like it, I don't know, it just doesn't work as well. You could go, I guess, straight through the blanket if you want, but I have my piece of embroidery thread and then I'm just gonna loop it off up here at the top. And then sometimes I'll open it where I've done my first knot and do uh, an additional square knot just to be safe. <laughs> Cause sometimes um, I found my embroidery floss will pull a little bit. Okay. And there's your cute little llama ornament.